everybody and welcome back to Jesus in Jammies! <laughs> Yesterday we were having dinner. I love dinner. And we were eating fish. Do you guys like fish? My kids really like fish. And we were having our fish and we had mac and cheese and yummy yummy broccoli and carrots and cauliflower. She loves it. You like broccoli? Do you like broccoli? I like broccoli and fish and cauliflower and carrots and all of it. And I was eating it and it reminded me of a story in the Bible. There was one time where Jesus and his disciples were walking around and, and Jesus was teaching and he was just such an amazing teacher that will say things in a way that everybody was amazed because the way that he spoke was awesome. And the things that he had to say were so great that people would just like to sit there and listen to him speak. They could just spend hours and hours and hours listening to Jesus. But this one time, there were so many people following that the disciples realized, okay, they have been listening to you speak all day long and they haven't had any food. I hear some bellies rumbling. I think that we should send them home so they can have dinner. And Jesus looked at the people, at all of the crowd, and he said, mm, don't send them home hungry. That's not very nice. Why don't you go ahead and feed them? And that sounded like a great idea, right? Like, don't go home hungry, just, just feed them. Except, they didn't have any food. And it wasn't just like one person or two people, not even three or four. No, they had 5,000 people. Whoa, that's more than 100. That is way more than 100. And they look at all of these people and they look at the fact that they didn't have any food and they were like, how can we feed all of these people? We have no food and we don't really have that much money either. So they were trying to figure out what to do. When this little boy came with a sack lunch, his mama had prepared a lunch for him to take on the road. So he brought this lunch to Jesus and the disciples and he said, well, here you go. You can feed the people with what I have. So they got all excited and they're like, yeah, we're going to feed the people with. Uh oh. Do you think they had enough food in the little sack lunch for 5,000 people? Mm -mm. They opened it up and they realized that he had one loaf. Two loaves, three loaves, four loaves, five loaves of bread, not 5,000, only five. And he had a dog, quack, no, an alligator, no, oh yeah, two fish. He had five loaves of bread and two fish. They were grateful that he brought his lunch to them, but they still saw it and they were like, this is not gonna do it. We, we can't, even if we cut this into little itty bitty pieces, it's not gonna feed all of these people. So what did they do? Well, they brought this boy's lunch to Jesus and Jesus grabbed it and he blessed it. He prayed for it. And then he told the disciples to pass it around. And guess what happened? Guess. Um, they all had food. They all had food. All of a the sudden, there was a miracle that happened in their hands after Jesus blessed the food. And they were able to give everybody enough food to eat until they were stuffed. They ate as much as they wanted to with just five loaves and two fish. So you must be wondering, why did you want to tell me that story? Why did you remember that story when you were eating your fish? Well, I wanted to tell you this story because you and me are like this little boy 
And you and me have a lunch that we can bring to Jesus. Which lunch? Maybe you don't have five loaves of bread and two fish, but you have a gift and a talent that God has given you and that he wants to use. What is it? Well, I don't know. Maybe you are very good at singing or you are very good at dancing. Maybe you are very creative and you can build things that nobody else can. Maybe you are very good at drawing or you're very good at sports or you are very good with your words and you can speak really, really well. Maybe you're just very fast and you can run really fast. I don't know what gifts and talents you have. But the things that you are very good at, that you really enjoy doing, if you bring him to Jesus like this boy did with his lunch, Jesus can bless it and he can use it to feed so many people. How are you going to feed people, you might be wondering, with my drawings or with my singing? Are they going to eat my voice? No, but what that means is that if we allow God to use your beautiful voice or your beautiful moves or your beautiful drawings or your amazing skills with basketball. God can make other people see Jesus through the things that you are doing. And they will be able to know that Jesus is real and that Jesus loves them and that he wants to be their friend forever. So remember, the things that you're good at the things that you enjoy doing, if you bring him to Jesus like this boy did with his lunch, he can use so that other people know that Jesus loves them. So this week, I want you to do something. I want you to think, hmm, what do I enjoy doing? What am I very good at? What is it that when I do it, other people are like, oh, wow, that is so nice. That is so cool. You're very good at it. And how can I use it? to tell other people that Jesus loves them. Use it because God wants to use it. I can be used by God and you can be used by God to tell others that Jesus loves them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.